that are like real life Pokemon? Welcome back to Shelby on Safari, the place where I, a wild animal biologist and Pokemon trainer, often combine my two passions into one. With the Pokemon company releasing Grafii, one of the new Pokemon that we will be meeting in the Paldea region, many people are scratching their heads wondering why on earth does Grafii look just so weird? Well, join me today as I introduce you to a real life Pokemon of our world that shares three incredible adaptations with Grafii. So you ready? Join the safari and let's get started. Grafii certainly seems based on a lemur. And yeah, I know, I know, this lemur, everybody knows King Julian. But did you know there are way more different types of lemurs than just a ring-tailed lemur? There are over a hundred different species of lemur, all found on the island of Madagascar. And Grafii certainly seems to be based on this the eye eye. While Grafii is known as the poison monkey Pokemon, lemurs are prosimians, not to be confused with the other lemur Pokemon, Passimian, but lemurs are not monkeys. But lemurs and monkeys are both primates. Speaking of which, the eye eye is the world's largest nocturnal primate. Now to help with their nocturnal lifestyle, eye eyes have rather large eyes. They are yellow orange in color and they have the tapetum lucidum as well. You know, that reflective layer on the back of the eye that improves nighttime vision. Which got me thinking, is this why Grafii eye has the white eyes? It looks like their facial features could have been influenced by both the eye eye as well as say a mask that one would wear if they're spray painting. It seems that Grafii also is nocturnal, like the Ai Ai. In fact, I hope that we'll only come across Grafii in the evening to pay homage to this nocturnal lifestyle. Now, during the evening, the Ai Ai spends a lot of time looking for food. In fact, about 80% of their time is spent foraging, which makes me think, does Grafii also have the similar activity budget of spending 80% of their time painting traps to lure potential prey? And what better way to be on the lookout for potential prey than by listening out for them with their big ears that again, both the Ai Ai and Grafii share. It seems Grafii might use their big ears to sense for danger or listen out for potential struggling bug Pokemon that are stuck on their traps. Now compared to other primates, the ears of the eye eyes are the biggest relative to the size of their head. And it's not just size with the ears that's impressive. Oh no, the coolest thing about the ears of the eye eye are that they can rotate independently. But by far the most unique aspect of Grafii is their long finger. Now, Pokemon has revealed that Grafii use poisonous saliva, which by the way, changes color based on what they eat, to draw patterns on trees in their territory. This poisonous saliva paint not only attracts bug Pokemon with its sweet smelling scent, but then once the bug Pokemon get there, traps them by paralyzing them. Then as dawn approaches, Grafii goes and collects their prey. But it's not just bug Pokemon that we see Grafii eat. Oh no, they have a varied diet, just like the eye eye. They are both omnivores, eating both bugs and fruit. And while Grafii uses their finger to paint with, the eye eye uses their finger for something a bit different. They are known as percussion foragers. Using their long middle finger, they tap on trees and listen using those big ears for reverberations. Now this tapping finger moves substantially faster than any of their other digits. And once a promising cavity has been located, they will turn their ears forward and listen out for grubs to then decide if it's worth digging into. For if they can hear them, they'll rip the cavity open by using their teeth, then hook out the grub using its finger. So on their finger, they do in fact have a claw, but more importantly for their finger adaptation, this finger has its own ball and socket joint. This gives the eye eye's finger exceptional flexibility in every direction. One study found that the eye eye's middle finger can bend to allow for the curved claw to follow the wall of the cavity. This way, the claw moves past the grub in the cavity instead of pushing it in deeper to where the eye eye might not be able to get it. And that finger flexibility 
comes in handy because the eye eye can access larvae from all sorts of directions, from acute, obtuse, and right angle cavity orientations. So the eye eye's finger is pretty snazzy, just like that of graphi eyes. I am so excited to see what more we learn about graphi eye and Pokemon Violet and Pokemon Scarlet coming out later this year. To check out my other videos and keep your safari going about real life animals that are like Pokemon, check out my playlist right here. You'll see a variety of videos from what animals like Sand Slash to also what animals like Palmy, one of the other Paldean Pokemon. So go on, click it. I'll see you over there. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in that video.